On January the 12th, 2010, an earthquake of 7.0 magnitude struck Haiti, claiming approximately 230,000 lives. It was the island's worst earthquake in 200 years. The epicenter, located 26 kilometers from the capital, Port-au-Prince, devastated the city, which has 40% of the country's population. The already precarious infrastructure and Haiti's fragile government completely collapsed. The UN estimates that over 3 million people were affected across the country. Communications, roads and health services were damaged. Access to food and drinking water was very difficult. Coal is the only fuel used by 80% of Haitians who live below the poverty line. The official unemployment rate runs at 90%. 1.5 billion people still remain in refugee camps and countless others remain homeless without humanitarian aid. It is a bleak picture. Caught in a daily battle to survive, Haitians struggle to see glimmers of hope among the huge mounds of garbage and concrete that remain on the streets. I don't know what the reason I live. I can, I can understand my life. I don't know what the reason I live. To help, they should build houses. Most of us Haitians lost our jobs and there is nothing we can do. Because even if you have money, you cannot find a house to rent. I think traveling through Haiti these last two weeks, it would be very easy to, to spare because we see so much suffering, especially coming from, from the earthquake of last January. But we've met so many great people who are in the church, uh, priests and sisters, laity, many of the bishops also, and they are people of great faith. They, they do trust in God to, to find a way out of this, this suffering. The Catholic Church also suffered losses. Archbishop Serge Miot, a significant number of priests, nuns and at least 30 seminarians all died. Over 70% of the church's buildings were destroyed. Despite all this, the church is making efforts to rebuild and, above all, to offer hope. We try to give them tents to live in, give them everything they need. The church wants to be among the people. We, the daughters of Mary, were hard hit, but we don't feel sorry for ourselves. Instead, we've looked to our students who need us. Some have lost their parents, others are still living in tents. Here we want to rebuild the school, but we don't want to build the school as a building, we want to rebuild our students as individuals. There was a situation caused by the earthquake, and now there's anger. We are prevented from meeting all the needs. The needs are very large and numerous. It's very painful when a person asks for help and we cannot respond. People living around the congregation are poor, they have nothing, they lack everything, they live in huts, they expect everything from us. Our hope as Catholics, as church, we cannot lose it, but what strengthens our hope also is the hope of the people. The people we are addressing, they have hope. They, they hope there will be a change. They hope there will be some help. And they turn their, their, their eyes toward the church. Of course, we cannot replace the state, but whatever we can do, they trust us that if we receive something to help them, it will go through them.